Hey, uh, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in, uh, looking at a little bit of earthquake activity out here on the west coast, uh, right around the Hollister, California region uh, this morning. A little bit of activity. You can see right here on the earthquake 3D globe, uh, starting it all off with a 4.1, and I've had a couple mid-sixes in there as well. Uh, we did see a little bit of earthquake activity similar to this a couple years ago right around the Hollister area that ultimately died out but uh, you know any kind of activity out here along this uh, plate boundary of the North American and the uh, Pacific Plate and the uh, uh, already fragile San Andreas Fault System uh, certain sections locked in further down south and also to the north here there's a little section that's uh, uh, overdue for a big one as well uh, the last one within this region here, let me switch over to a different map. <clears throat> um, I guess I could show this one right here. Uh, okay, this one will work for a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, you can see the squares right here just south of the San Francisco Bay Area. I uh, got a fairly large blue square. Uh, indicative of that 4.1 that struck uh, earlier today and also quite a few aftershocks following that 4.1 as well. But the last one was, last big one, uh, within the close vicinity under 30 miles was that 7.1 magnitude earthquake back in 1989. Uh, so this area is somewhat prone to large earthquakes um, and they do happen. It is situated right on the San Andreas fault system right here. Um, let's go over here a little bit. Let's see if I flip this down. <clears throat> now, these are kind of small circles, but it should give you guys the uh, the view that I'm trying to point out here this is just one day magnitude 2.5 and above uh, just 11 earthquakes showing up here with the uh, 4.1 down here being the largest and uh, like I said many threes in there and a couple twos in there as well but like I said this is occurring right right there at the uh, San Andreas fault zone the creeping section so to speak um, but you know the They've definitely had some larger earthquakes in the past um, happen within this area for sure. I'm trying to see where uh, there's Hollister right there. Okay, so you got Hollister just up here to the north of the area. Uh, this activity taking place, like say right along, just or just right off the San Andreas fault section here, the creeping section. Um, I'm trying to think how far Hollister is from here. About, uh, how are we looking at? I don't know, what, 10 miles, maybe 10, 15 miles from that area. And so it's an area to watch, folks. I'm not saying anything big is going to happen out here today, uh, but it is giving me a signal and a sign that uh, pressure has definitely been building in this area, uh, even though it's a creeping section. Um, it's something to watch out for as they are prone to larger earthquakes out there in that region. <clears throat> Quite a few people filling it as in the did you fill it reports here. Let me show you guys this 4.1. Um, did you fill it reports? Oh, of course it's going to go transparent. Not for sure. Let me see if I can get rid of that. Hold on a second. Of course I didn't fill it. Um, 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 um. Not for sure it's kind of hard to see when it's like that but uh, I was looking earlier and definitely quite a few people felt it within the area of course Hollister region and um, okay here we go I don't know if you guys can see that or not uh, of course not. You guys can't see it because it's uh, transparent. So anyway, uh, just read this here real quick. Quite a few people in Hollister. 117 people, at least 
within the 95023 zip code of Hollister filling it and of course folks in Salinas filling that as well uh, 4.1 you can definitely fill there's no doubt about it some people even fill threes um, but a 4.1 will definitely be felt by the most folks out there <clears throat> and uh, that was the case today with this 4.1 I do have a Hollister station pulled up I know it wasn't up during that 4.1 earthquake but it is now um, showing here let me get rid of this map here real quick it is showing up here and this is a station right around where the epicenter uh, is taking place here in California Hollister San Andreas station near Hollister California uh, I did see a couple small aftershocks uh, just a few minutes ago showing up on that live station but it looks fairly quiet now but anyway, um, so we'll watch this area. I mean, it's uh, kind of been, you know, I can't say it's been super quiet out here on the West Coast. We do see our little earthquakes and twos and ones, and but we just really haven't seen any large earthquakes out here in quite some time. And of course, I, I remember as a kid, I'm sure everyone's heard it before, uh, the big ones coming to California, you know, and it's just, I, heard, I remember that as a kid. My parents tell me that uh, California would fall off into the ocean that's geologically impossible for California to fall off uh, considering part of California is one plate and the other plate is, is the other part of California so you know it's not gonna fall off there's a lot of liquid li what's it called liquefaction factors that could go into effect in certain areas uh, like around Los Angeles down there <clears throat> But uh, that's that's a worst case scenario if that were to happen. So anyway, uh, you know, just be on guard out there. California showing a little bit of activity, I should say, just a lot of activity today. Uh, myself living here in California, I'm always trying to uh, be prepared. You know, for years at a time, I always keep cases of water, uh, extra gas. You know, I'm not saying I'm a a doomsday scenario prepper but I do keep handy stuff you know that that one should always carry just in case have a backup toilet paper soda beer top ramen noodles canned foods you know anything you can think of that uh, could get you through a few days um, if something big were to happen and stores would be closed and you know looting would happen you know just <laughs> It's, uh, it, it's going to happen eventually, <clears throat> the big one that is, but uh, for now we're just seeing a little bit of activity along that uh, San Andreas fault system out there, out here, and uh, we'll keep an eye on it and update you guys on if uh, anything else happens out here. In the meantime, we'll get back to the live stream here. Uh, have a good day out there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. It looks pretty windy up there at Yellowstone National Park and rather cold. Peace out, folks. Have a good day.